Welcome to 60 Second Civics, the daily podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. We are joined today by David Hudson, Assistant Professor of Law at Belmont University. And how did the government's response to 9-11 affect free speech and civil liberties? Well, it, it's not directly a First Amendment issue. I think we have to talk about it. Is that one of the unfortunate aftermaths of 9-11 and what happened in the country was profiling. Some have referred to it as ushering in an age of Islamophobia. And if you talk to many people, to give you one example, my close friend, Bipul Chug, my college roommate, that's my 9-11 story. He was scheduled to go next to the highest floor, the Twin Towers. He was scheduled to go at 8 a.m. on September 11, 2001. He gets a call the night before, we've rescheduled, can you come in at 11 a.m.? Otherwise, he would have been there. I believe he went to 57 funerals of friends of him who perished. But the other thing that happened to my friend Bipul Chug, who is actually of Indian descent, is that every time he went around New York City, he got stopped. He got profiled. And that is an unfortunate reality of what happened in the aftermath is that many people were profiled. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute.